The French Revolution was a period of profound social and political upheaval that swept across France in the late 18th century. It marked the end of the Bourbon monarchy and the birth of the French Republic, ushering in a new era of radical political and social change. The revolution was marked by violence, bloodshed, and chaos, but it also produced enduring legacies that have shaped modern France and the world. In this video, we will explore the events that led up to the revolution, the causes of the revolution, and the key players who shaped its course. Before we get started, please subscribe to our channel. To understand the French Revolution, we must first examine the social and political context in which it occurred. France in the 18th century was a country deeply divided by class, with an absolute monarchy that wielded immense power over the lives of its citizens. The French monarchy was also burdened with debt, thanks to years of costly wars and a lavish court lifestyle that drained the treasury. These factors created a volatile mix that set the stage for revolution. At the same time, Enlightenment ideas, which emphasized reason, individualism, and democracy, were spreading throughout Europe. These ideas challenged traditional notions of authority and hierarchy and inspired many French thinkers to question the legitimacy of the monarchy and aristocracy. Additionally, the American Revolution, which had just concluded in 1783, showed that it was possible for a colony to successfully revolt against its ruling power. There were many factors that contributed to the revolution, including economic, social, and political factors. The rising cost of living, food shortages, and high taxes were among the economic factors that fueled popular discontent. The social hierarchy of France, with the nobility and clergy holding most of the power and wealth, also contributed to the revolutionary fervor. The vast majority of French citizens were part of the Third Estate, which included everyone who was not a noble or a clergy member. They had few political rights and were burdened with heavy taxes. Political factors, such as the weak leadership of King Louis XVI and the ineffectiveness of the Estates General, also played a role in the revolution's outbreak. The Estates General was a legislative body that represented the three estates of France, but it had not been called into session since 1614. When it was finally convened in 1789 to address the country's financial crisis, it was clear that the Third Estate was being unfairly represented. This led to the formation of the National Assembly which was made up of representatives from the Third Estate who wanted to create a new constitution for France. The French Revolution officially began on July 14, 1789, when a mob stormed the Bastille, a symbol of royal power and tyranny. This event marked the beginning of a period of intense upheaval, as the people of France rose up against their rulers and demanded change. The revolution was marked by a series of key events, including the adoption of the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, a document that established fundamental principles of liberty, equality, and fraternity. This document was inspired by Enlightenment ideals and served as a model for other countries seeking to establish democratic governments. Additionally, this period witnessed the emergence of radical political factions such as the Jacobins, who called for the establishment of a republic and the execution of the king. The Jacobins eventually gained control of the government and implemented a series of sweeping reforms, including the abolition of feudalism and the establishment of a uniform legal system. The revolution took a dark turn with the rise of the radical Jacobin faction led by Maximilien Robespierre. The Jacobins sought to create a new, egalitarian society, but their methods were marked by violence, repression, and terror. Robespierre and his followers established the Committee of Public Safety, which was tasked with rooting out counter-revolutionaries and enemies of the revolution. The committee became infamous for its use of the guillotine, 
which was used to execute thousands of people, including many who were innocent or merely suspected of disloyalty. The era of terror reached its peak in 1793 and 1794, when Robespierre and the Jacobins held absolute power in France. During this time, the country was in a state of constant disruptions and violence, with factions vying for power and the government suspending civil liberties in the name of security. The reign of terror came to an end with the fall of Robespierre in 1794, but the revolution continued for several more years. France became embroiled in a series of wars with other European powers, and political instability continued to plague the country. In 1799, Napoleon Bonaparte seized power in a coup and established himself as the leader of France. He would go on to become one of the most significant figures in modern European history, using his military genius to conquer much of Europe and spread revolutionary ideals throughout the continent. The revolution had a profound impact on France and the world, shaping the course of modern history in countless ways. It led to the overthrow of absolute monarchies throughout Europe, inspired the growth of democracy and nationalism, and sparked a wave of social and political change that continues to this day. The French Revolution was a complex and multi-layered event that had far-reaching consequences for France and the world. It was a period of intense disturbance and violence, but it also produced enduring legacies that have shaped modern politics and society. By understanding the causes and events of the revolution, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead in our own time. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about this fascinating period in history and gained understanding of its enduring impact on the modern world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on history, politics, and culture.